Hello and welcome to the fourth video in this series programming a JavaScript chess program. So the last video we did a little bit of setup where we had a couple of functions writing something to the console and we started with our definitions. In this video we're going to carry on with some definitions and we're going to be looking at files and ranks in this video. So if I just take our board up here, you remember we had our board representation here, we've got still the knight moves in colours on here. Well, what we're going to need as well, if I just copy this and let's go to the side and paste this where we can have it a little bit more conveniently. So what we've got, what we actually need here is we need something which gives us the the file and the rank for a given square. So in this case, I've got the rank here be going from naught to seven. So this would be our ranks board. So for a given file on the board, it would tell us which rank we have from rank 1 to rank 8, which remember are 0 to 7. And otherwise, I'd want this to return then the defined off-board value that we had in our defs, which is 100 here. So I would want anything outside here then to basically be the value of 100 in this way. I'll just paste these values in here. So. it's a little bit easier to visualize. So we want something like this and likewise then for the files we'd have this just in the other direction so all this first file here would be naught, one all the way up to seven here. And what we'll also need then to initialize this is we'll need to make a function which for a given file and rank enables us to return the square indexed as in our board here. So if we were given file 1 and rank 1 we return 21 and file 8 and rank 8 would return us a 98. So that's what we're going to set up in this video. So the first thing we'll need inside our defs is obviously we'll need the two arrays and we'll call files board and ranks board and again these are the two arrays that are going to return for us this value inside here in this format or an off board outside. And the next thing we need to do is we need to have our function that for a given file and rank returns us our board square. And that's fairly simple as you can imagine. I've called the function file rank to square, fr to square. So file rank to square, taking in a file and a rank, and 21 plus the file plus the rank times 10 gives the square. So if you remember, if we have file 0 and rank 0, that will give us a 21. File 0 and rank 1 then of course gives us 31 and so on so it's not very difficult really to visualize that so once we've got those defined we need now to go into main and we need to I'm going to put all inside main I'm not going to put much in main but what I will put in main is all the initialization functions that then go inside this init here and we're going to create a function called init files ranks and board and I'm going to do a paste more than anything inside this video because I don't want the video to last too long and we're going to do two loops inside here. We don't need this variable. We're going to do two loops. One of the loops is going to loop through all 120 squares and set everything to off board. And then the next loop is going to loop through the eight files and ranks, so the 64 squares. Use our function here to get the board square and set our each of our two arrays for the files and ranks to the appropriate value so that both end up looking like the array that we've created here, this one being remember for ranks, files goes in the other direction. So I'm sure you can imagine that's fairly simple stuff to do, it's not rocket science. First loop is clearing all 120 squares inside the board to off board and then the second loop very simply goes for each rank, stepping through each file in each rank, gets the square using file rank to square and then separate uh, sets the appropriate file and rank for that square in this manner. And one more thing we could do with this initialization actually very quickly is just print to the screen some tests to make sure everything's okay. So we'll just do naught which obviously isn't even on the board in this way. So I'll just paste this in and do naught. And I'll also do ranks board here actually as well.
Okay, and then what we can also do is print maybe for A1 and A8 and H8 just to check everything else is also okay. So squares dot A1, and I'll just do a quick copy and paste as well so that we speed things up a tiny little bit. And let's do A8 actually alone just for good measure, just to check everything. Or shall we? No, let's do E8, shall we? So we, because I think we have that defined and it's in the middle of the board, so the files in the rank aren't 0 or 7. Good, OK. And the last thing we need to do once we've done this function, obviously, is just copy and paste this now inside our initialization here, so we actually do the initialization of these arrays. So save that file now, bring back the browser with the console open and refresh. And here we can see that indeed square naught, which is off the board, we have values of 100 stored, which is good. And then at A1 we have a file of 0, which is correct, because it's file A. And the rank also is rank 1, which remember is a 0, 0 to 7. And at E8 we have rank of 7, which is correct, because it's the top rank. And E, of course, we've got A, B, C, D, E, so it's actually file 5 or a number of, sorry, file E, but a number of 4 because it's zero index, it's the fifth along. So things from the initialization there look okay, and so they should be because really that loop was not the most complicated thing there is to do in this program. So good then, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll start setting up the structure for our board representation in the game inside the JavaScript. So thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.